We have a, uh, an RTD four wire platinum 100 ohm transmitter that we're gonna be using today. And we're gonna use the Fluke 754 documenting process calibrator to source <coughs> RTD to this transmitter and let it measure it. So uh, you'll notice that there, it's a four, configured as a four wire device. So we bring the four wires out, jumper them together at the end with stackable connectors. And we look at the 744, uh, everything in red is source, so we want to source RTD, so we look for source, RTD. So we plug our two leads in here, and our loop power connects here, and that's also where we measure our milliamps. So I'll turn the unit on. And uh, we'll first go to setup and uh, enable loop power. So right now it's disabled, so I'm going to enable the 24 volt loop power. And you'll also notice the hard channel communication is set up via the milliamp jack, so we can, uh, that'll work fine for our setup. So I'm done there. Uh, if I go to milliamps measure, it's measuring 21.8 milliamps. If I go to source measure, source, and I select RTD, and then it asks me what type of RTD, platinum 100 ohm, 385, and it asks me to put in a temperature, so I'm gonna put in 100 degrees. Go back to the source measure screen, and now I'm sourcing two terminal RTD, platinum 100 ohm, 385, to the transmitter, so I'm simulating an RTD a very accurate RTD to the, to the transmitter, and it's, uh, it's reading 100 degrees C, as it should be. And that's how we source an RTD to a device that we're trying to simulate an RTD for.